Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, there's what's known as prison. Yeah. It's a place of confinement. Yeah. Uh, where people are kept while waiting for a trial or while serving time for breaking the law. Yes. Jail or prisoner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I know that a lot of times I mention this uh, institution known as prison. Yeah. And it, it seems that um, those in law enforcement, they they seem to think that prison is for someone other than themselves. Oh. Uh, but I'm kind of thinking prison's for you. <laughs> now, I wanted to explain some differences in some of the laws of the United States. Yes. Uh, last night I talked about the FFCA. <laughs> And I kind of looked at it, yes, and I put a screen print in the email. Mm -hmm. And then I put a, a copy of the email in the war crimes drive. Yeah. And then I gave you uh, quite a few drive links yesterday. Mm -hmm. Now, for some reason, the police seem to think that the prison is for someone other than themselves. Yes. As if uh, you yourselves could never go to prison for having any knowledge of any crime. <laughs> but my thought is, well, you actually can. <laughs> now, um, there seem to be a shortage of prisons in the United States. <laughs> and I wanted to talk to you about me redesigning the prisons. Yes. Out of uh, garbage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, see, the, the thought was that we have lots and lots of prisons, yes, for those in law enforcement that don't understand what the full faith and credit means, yes. Now, um, there's an act to establish the Department of Homeland Security, yes, and for other purposes, poo. And I gave you a little picture last night of what's known as civil rights and civil, civil liberties, yes. And it seems that if you're an employee of Homeland Security, they very much support, yes, not discriminating against the other employees. <clears throat> but, mm -hmm, as I inform them, yes, my civil rights are being violated and my civil liberties, too. Now, as that act would explain, yes, mm -hmm. Uh, there is the possibility of imprisoning a large number of federal employees, yes, that happen to be employees right now, mm -hmm. of Homeland Security, yes, for their refusal to enforce mm -hmm, civil rights and civil liberties. <laughs> See, in November 25th of 2002, we passed an act. Yes, it's an actual law. <clears throat> that established a department of the United States federal government, yes, with the intention that if Homeland Security has knowledge of terrorism, right now, they get to go to prison. <laughs> get to go to prison. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go through the prisons again, uh -huh, since, uh, well, approximately 1783-84. Yeah. Because I wanted all of them, yes, and then the juvenile delinquency centers, yes, uh-huh, the administrative offices of the departments of correction. Yes, he does. Mm -hmm. And then the individuals employed. Yes, in that. Um, mm -hmm. What what do you call yourselves again? Yes, the superintendent of prisons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I thought we should build a whole bunch of new prisons uh -huh, for those in law enforcement that have any knowledge of terrorism. Yes, because there's a good probability that that's where you're going to be spending most of your lives. Yes. Now, the FFCA mm -hmm, is a little different. Yes, it is. Uh-huh. Because uh, this is the judiciary and judicial procedure. Mm -hmm. Now, what I did is I made a screen print of what's known as the records and judicial proceedings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of any court of any such state. Yeah. Territory. Mm-hmm or possession or copies thereof shall be proved yeah. or admitted in other courts within the United States and its territories and possessions yeah. by the attestation of the clerk mm -hmm. and seal of the court. Yes. Uh, next, <laughs> if a seal exists together with a certificate mm -hmm, 
of a judge of the court that the said attestation is in proper form. Yes. Now, this attesting to court orders. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, by the attestation mm -hmm. of the clerk and seal of the court annexed. Yeah. Now, since the state of Washington issued a seal for the county clerk, the ex officio. Yeah. And you decided to use a forgery to issue that protection order. Yes. You can see here that the seal does exist because it's on the protection order. Yes. And then the certificate of the judge of the court that said the attestation is in proper form. Poop. Now, that court order violates the FFCA. Yes. It doesn't just violate the VAWA. Let's go ahead. Uh, when the court, uh -huh, court commissioner Brent Basin, mm -hmm. should have issued some sort of certificate in attestation yeah. that the protection order is in proper form, uh -huh, but it can't be. No. Because it has a forgery. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Now, I'm going to see you today. <laughs> now, why don't you get me those prisons Ouch. where I'm going to put in prison... Mm -hmm, Large numbers of sheriffs could be tens of thousands, might be twenty, thirty, forty thousand sheriffs right now. 